and welcome to another book edition of Catholic Mom and Daughter. I'm Jennifer and this is Kate. And every couple of months we like to update you on what we've been reading and what we thought of each book. So today we have several books to talk about, plus a Bible study that we loved, and one book that failed. Yeah, we had a big fail because every now and then we do get a lemon. But today we're going to start with the good stuff first. First up, we have Lights in a Dark Town, which I borrowed from the library, so I'll put a picture up on the screen for you. I tracked it down because I'd always heard it's a really great story and it did not disappoint. It's the story of blessed John Henry Cardinal Newman as seen through the eyes of his young neighbor, Emmeline Earle, set in Birmingham during the Industrial Revolution. So Cardinal Newman was an Anglican priest who famously or infamously, depending on who you talk to, converted to the Catholic Church. And the author does a really great job of bringing Cardinal Newman to life and showing all the dangers and sufferings he went through for the faith, but she also highlights his wisdom and his humor. So I've always been a Cardinal Newman fan and this book only made me like him more, so I definitely recommend it. It's good for elementary kids on up. Next up, we have this book called Walk the World's Rim. So we picked this one up last month as part of our early American history studies after it was recommended to us by one of our viewers. And shout out to Rachel because we really loved this book. So it follows Chaco, a Native American boy who gets swept up in Cabeza de Vaca's epic journey through the southwestern U.S. down into Mexico. Life back then was pretty harsh, but you get a good idea of what life might have been like during the time of the Spanish conquistadors. And it was also very interesting to get to know Chaco and to see what he struggles with and what he learns. The age range for this book is about 8 to 12 years old, though I might preview it for more sensitive younger readers uh, because, as I said, life back then wasn't very easy. But Older kids and adults like us will also enjoy it. The next book is called Into His Likeness by Edward Sri, Being Transformed into a True Disciple of Christ. So this is a practical guide about growing closer to Jesus and being a better disciple. I read this with a friend of mine and we both loved it. We both had several aha moments. Uh, there's one chapter in particular called The Struggle that deals with different obstacles that prevent us from becoming better disciples of Christ. For instance, maybe you are a Chicago Cubs Catholic, someone who's always hoping to do better next year, but then that just never happens. Or maybe you're a very devout Catholic. You say all the right prayers and believe all the right things, but then that very orthodoxy can prevent you from being a really close follower of Jesus because just showing up and checking all the right boxes doesn't necessarily qualify you to be a true follower of Christ. So that is something to think about. At the end of every chapter, there are discussion questions, and this one was so good that I know I'll read it again. The next book is one that I just finished a couple of days ago, and that is Freeing Tanner Rose by T.M. Gowett. This is the first book in the Faith and Kung Fu series, and we follow two characters, Tanner Rose and Gabriel, who are complete opposites, but one day their worlds collide when Tanner is sent to take a break in the country with Gabriel and his mother. So the two characters do not get along in the beginning of the book and they end up in some crazy situations, but the time that Tanner spends with Gabriel and his mother ends up having a huge impact on her life. But is it enough to free her from the worldly obsessions that are tying her down? So this book is so well written, it has a, such a good message that any teen can really take to heart and I can't wait to read the rest of the series. Lastly, we have a wonderful Bible study by Mary Healy called Lectio Evangelization, which is available on Formed. So if you're not familiar with Formed, it's like a Catholic Netflix, except it has a lot more than just movies. So Mary Healy is a wonderful speaker and she is so knowledgeable about the Bible. I always learn a ton every time I listen to one of her talks. And she looks at the book of Acts about how the early church evangelized people and how we can bring those same techniques forward and apply them to our modern times. 
The study is a very joyful, interesting, inspiring series, and it really shook me up, but in a good way. I've watched every episode more than once, so if you are wondering what's good to watch on Formed, definitely check out this one by Mary Healy. It's definitely worth your time. Now let's go ahead and talk about the book that failed for us, and that was Ender's Game. So this book follows the child genius Ender Wigan, who supposedly or hopefully is going to save the galaxy from alien invasion. And this book has tons of great reviews on Amazon and is even recommended by several homeschool curricula companies. So what could go wrong, right? Well, apparently a lot, because this book was just a big fail for us on a variety of different levels. Number one, it has a lot of bad language in it, which I find very annoying because you don't need terrible language to write a great story. And there were also parts of the plot that were really a stretch. I mean, it is science fiction, but just some of this was beyond credibility, even for the genre. So definitely this one was not our favorite. The third thing that I really disliked about this book was that one of the children in the book, one of the characters, was very creepy and just plain sadistic. So that made for some very disturbing reading. So we had to pull the plug on this one because I have to be careful what I put into my mind and into the minds of my children because we do think about the things that we read and who wants to contemplate this evil child doing <laughs> creepy horrible things. But if you like the sound of the story but just want an alternative, we can recommend The War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells. We read this book, we loved this book, and it has the whole same alien invasion concept, <laughs> just without all the language and the creepy characters. So that's what we've been reading lately. We've had several hits and one big miss. <laughs> So let us know in the comments what has been on your bookshelf lately, what you've been reading. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.